Welcome to the presentation on percentages. Suppose we have been asked to find out the percentage of questions devoted to quantitative aptitude in CAT 2000 paper. What does this word percentage actually mean? Let us have a look. Percentage is nothing but a way of expressing a number as a fraction of 100. The word percent means per 100 in Latin. For example, what does 40% imply? According to the above definition, it is equal to 40 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.4. Percentages are correctly used to express fractions of a total. For example, 40% means 40 divided by 100 equal to 0 0.4 times sum total. Let us now understand the mathematical notation of percentages. Percentage is often denoted by the percent sign. The fundamental concept to remember when performing calculations with percentages is that the percent symbol can be treated as being equivalent to a pure number constant 1 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.01. For example, 40% of 300 means 40 divided by 100 into 300 which is equal to 120. To find the percentage that a X unit represents out of a whole of N units, first we find out the fraction X by N. Then we multiply the fraction by 100 to get the percentage, that is X by N into 100 percent. Let the total number of questions that appeared in CAT 2000 be A out of which B number of questions were of quantitative aptitude section. Hence, the percentage number of quantitative aptitude questions that appeared in CAT 2000 is equal to B by A into 100 percent. Now we know that A percent of B is equal to AB by 100. Let us go through some important points regarding percentages. What is percentage of a percentage? For example, 50 percent of 30 percent of X is equal to 50 by 100 into 30 by 100 into X. It is not correct to divide by 100 and use the percent sign at the same time. 30% is equal to 30 by 100, not 30% divided by 100, which actually is 30 by 100 into 1 by 100. If X is X percent of B and B is Y percent of C, then A is X by 100 into Y by 100 into 100 percent of C. For example, the number of female students in section 1 is 25 percent and section 1 comprises of 50 percent of the total students in grade 3. Then the number of female students in section 1 as a percentage of the total students in grade 3 is equal to 25 
divide by 100 into 50 divided by 100 into 100 percent which is equal to 12.5 percent. What is percent change or what is change in quantity divided by original quantity into 100? By definition, percent change is given as final quantity minus original quantity whole divided by original quantity into 100. If the value of the above comes out to be positive, there has been a percentage increase. If the value of the above comes out to be negative, there has been a person decrease. Now, let us look at some important points to remember of person change. Let us suppose that the speed of A is X meters per second and the speed of B is Y meters per second where Y is less than X. Then, percentage by which A is greater than B is equal to X minus Y whole divided by Y into 100. Then, percentage by which B is less than A is equal to X minus Y divided by X into 100. Now, let us look at some more important points to remember about person change. If an increase of A percent is followed by a decrease of B percent, then the original amount X becomes X into 1 plus A by 100 into 1 minus B by 100. Point to be noted here is if A becomes equal to B, then the original value X becomes X into 1 plus A by 100 into 1 minus A by 100. Similarly, for a decrease of A percent followed by a decrease of B percent, X becomes x into 1 minus a by 100 into 1 minus b by 100. Decrease of b percent followed by an increase of a percent changes x value to x into 1 minus b by 100 into 1 plus a by 100. Similarly, for an increase of a percent followed by an increase of B percent, the value of X becomes X into 1 plus A by 100 into 1 plus B by 100. Let us do some concept application. Consider the following question. We have to choose the correct alternative. In an election contested by two parties, party D secure 12% of the total votes more than party R. If party R got 132000 votes, by how many votes did it lose the election? The given options are A. 3 lakhs B. 1.68 lakhs C. 36000 D 24000 According to the question, Party D secured 12% of the total votes more than Party R. Let the percentage of the total votes secured by Party D equal to X percent. Thus, the percent of the total votes 
secured by party R is equal to x minus 12 percent. Since there are only two parties D and R, the total of their percentages of votes should be equal to 100 percent. Hence, x plus x minus 12 is equal to 100 which gives x equal to 56. Thus, the percentage of the total votes secured by party R is equal to 56 minus 12 percent which is 44 percent. Since it is given that party R got 132000 votes, we can say that 44 divided by 100 into the total number of votes is equal to 132000. Solving, we get the total number of votes which is equal to 300000, that is 3 lakhs. Since party D secured 12% of the total votes more than party R, then the margin by which R lost the election is equal to 12 by 100 into 300000 which gives 36000 hence the correct alternative is c